Good afternoon and welcome to the KRQE.com webcast. I'm Deanna Sauceta. We begin with meteorologist John Smith and the forecast. Hi, John. Hi, Diano. We will be looking for the chance of a few showers, especially in the eastern parts of the state throughout the afternoon. We can get a couple of showers in the metro as well as we move throughout the afternoon hours. And then as we go into your Tuesday, the shower activity will mainly focus into the eastern parts of New Mexico, especially down in the southeast, where we could pick up a couple of severe storms throughout the afternoon. And we'll continue with that chance, at least in the far eastern portions and southeast, as we move through Wednesday afternoon. But things do start to get more quiet through the end of the week, but they also start to get cooler as well. Temperatures dropping back into the 60s for Thursday and Friday in Albuquerque and then finally setting, settling into the upper 50s by Saturday. The death penalty phase for Michael Astorga has been a long time coming and the process to seat a jury is mind-boggling and today the trial began in Santa Fe. Thousands of questionnaires have been sent out to find jurors. It was six years ago that Astorga killed Bernalillo County Deputy James McGrain. Astorga was convicted in June of 2010. Now this afternoon potential jurors will be interviewed. 3,000 10-page questionnaires have been sent out. The court hopes to whittle that down to a pool of 700. It could take up to three weeks to seat a jury. They will be asked to sentence Astorga to life in prison or death. Astorga is still eligible for the death penalty since the crime occurred before the state repeal. Carlsbad police say the shooter who killed a waitress at a Denny's there then turned the gun on himself has now died. Police say 22-year-old Christopher Joseph, or C.J. Dulhash of Tucson, died Saturday at the hospital. Officers say he walked up to the counter of the restaurant last Thursday morning and opened fire, killing 34-year-old Raquel Rodriguez. She's the mother of three. Investigators have found no connection between the gunman and the victim and have not figured out a motive. Stay with KRQE for more news and weather updates throughout the day. Have a good day, everybody.